Uh, most of these kids are here from a year to three years. Some are here uh, much longer, even a lifetime. We do a lot of different things. We do everything with them. It's just inspiring to see a little baby go from the NICU to like this big to like that. So at any given time, we've had children here coming from various children's hospitals around us. We spend all of our time with them and we watch them grow. We're like their parents. My name is Katie Clements. I'm a nurse at Rockcastle Regional Hospital. I take care of the babies. Our babies are here for complex medical care, but they're essentially here for this to be their home away from home. My name is Emily Valentine. I'm a physical therapist here at Rockcastle Regional Hospital. I've been here for 17 years. I've worked primarily in respiratory and ventilator care for the last 14. So a lot of the babies don't have developed lungs, so they're placed on ventilators to breathe. That ventilator is taking the place of the lungs and doing the work of the lungs. Probably 90% of the babies that come to us suffer from some form of either a tracheal malformation or a tracheal malaysia where the, the trach itself is just not able to stay open on its own, so they need the tracheostomy tube in place. I think DJ will be really good at track or sports because he's so fast. DJ was actually born in Louisville and started his medical journey at U of L. He's a kid that came to us at 11 months. He required the trach and the ventilator. He's a little over three right now, completely off the ventilator. He's breathing all on his own. He does still require a trait just due to his medical diagnoses, but other than that, he's happy, healthy three-year-old. I've been affiliated with the Crusade since I started here. The Crusade was instrumental in us moving from a therapy cart to a full therapy space that encompasses mobility. They were able to provide a big sensory wall for our kids. some really safe matted areas for the kids to move around and play. We were finding that when these complex kids need to go to a pulmonology appointment or transfer to a higher level of care, we didn't have a great way to transport them in terms of functionality. Through the crusade, we were able to get pediatric transport systems like this one. This was the first one that we received. We can take this out of the building, safely secure it for transport, and then take them to their appointment. Without the crusade, we wouldn't have all the extra things that we can kind of go the extra mile for these kids. This is our new scale um, bought by the Crusade. We use it for our babies on ventilators and it's helped with the accuracy of weights and it makes such a big difference. Anyone who would like to make a donation or feels drawn to help out the Crusade's mission, I can tell you firsthand that I've seen it year after year after year. They make a huge difference in the lives of children, a huge difference in the role that caregivers can play, and it's just a fantastic organization. My hope is that the kids all get better and go home to safe, happy families and thrive.